What's going on guys, Dividing here, and today we're back with another shader review. This time we're going to be reviewing the Bun Shader, well version 3 of Bun Shader specifically. So before we start off the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and links will be in the description. Whoa, what the hell happened here? I am not sure. Alright. So let's get on with the review. First off, we have our water source over here. The water does seem pretty, pretty cool. We've got our reflections over here from the sun and the clouds, which is awesome. And if we head down, let's see if it waves. As you can see, yes, we do have the distortion going on and it's pretty transparent. So I guess you could use this for monument hunting. And yeah, that's it for the water sources. Now let's look at up and see our sky and we've got a clear sky over here with a gradient and we have our clouds over here they do seem to be more on the pinkish warm side well i guess the shader is more of a warm shader so that's cool if you're into that and we've got our sun over here trying to get a shot of it but it's being blocked by the clouds right now it's basically just you know a ball of light and yeah that's pretty much it for our clouds now for the best part of the shader well, not really the best part yet, but uh, we've got our shadows over here. They they aren't, you know, rough on the edges of that, so that's cool. And we've got our waving leaves over here. They do have the outline, but personally, I'm not really a fan of the outline. Some people do like it, but I'm not really a fan of it. But our waving over here seems pretty slow and, you know, uniform, I guess. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the waving. Uh, Sugarcane does wave with the does wave it does wave that's basically it it does wave now over here we've got our waving grass also basically mcp has mastered waving grass so there's not really much to say on that but the thing about the shader is that it really does perform well with the shadows as you can see it does look java like from this you know point of view which is awesome and i'm gonna show you guys the nighttime which i think is the best aspect of this shader so as you can see, the nighttime looks amazing. We've got our uh, our stars in the sky over here. We've got our clouds and our moon, which I believe is somewhere. I'm gonna try looking for the moon. Oh, there you go. As you can see, it does look uh, Java-like. Personally, I might believe this is a Java shader. Like, look at that. Look at that. It looks Java-like. And that's personally a win for the shader. That's really cool. Yeah, I think the best part of the shader really is, you know, the nighttime. And I guess that's it for the overworld. Let's head into the nether now. Alright, so we're here in the nether. As you can see, we've got our light sources. It's pretty warm. It actually doesn't emit that much light, which is really surprising because I really thought that it would be overblown. Like some shaders, which I don't really like, but this shader actually keeps it at the minimum. But the darks, the like the shadow parts do seem to be a bit too dark for me. So you might have troubles when you know 
when you're venturing through dark places. But other than that, that's basically it for this shader. It does include particles for the different biomes, so don't worry. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, comment down below for any suggestions for other shaders or add-ons. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Peace.